Vaccines, facilitating safe travel, climate change. How did the European Parliament help shape the beginning of 2021? Nearly a year into the COVID-19 pandemic, the first vaccine was developed. Parliament supported the speedy authorization of safe jabs and backed their joint purchase for EU countries. Nous nous sommes fiers de ce processus européen. Imaginez quel chaos ce serait si nous avions 27 contrats différents, 27 prix différents, 27 conditions d'accès différentes, 27 calendriers de date de démarrage de la vaccination différentes. To improve Europeans' health and better face future health crises, MEPs also endorsed the new 5.1 billion euro EU for Health program. With vaccines came the opportunity to ease travel restrictions between EU countries. Parliament fast-tracked the approval of the EU Digital Covid Certificate to promote safer and easier travel. Crises often feed inequality. MEPs voiced their concerns about LGBTIQ rights and the erosion of media freedom in some EU countries. The fundamental pillar of the European Union is freedom of expression and justice and rule of law. Parliament backed the so-called rule of law conditionality, which puts member countries that don't respect European values like democracy and human rights at risk of losing funds. MEPs also took action to combat climate change, committing to climate neutrality by 2050, backing funds for environmental programmes like LIFE and biodiversity and circular economy goals for 2030. With the United Kingdom no longer an EU member, it was time to rethink the EU-UK relationship. Parliament ratified the Trade and Cooperation Agreement. Dieses Post-Brexit-Abkommen ist ein starkes Fundament, um die negativen Auswirkungen des Brexits für Beschäftigte, für die Umwelt, aber auch für die Wirtschaft abzuschwächen. The Conference on the Future of Europe was launched at the European Parliament, an opportunity for all Europeans to present their ideas and decide on what the EU should look like. The next six months at the European Parliament look set to be just as action-packed, with the State of the EU debate, Green Deal legislation, the Sakharov Prize and more.